Hi mamas, today I want to talk to you about how to manage overwhelm and feeling out of control, which is something I'm sure most of you have felt to a greater or lesser extent recently with lockdown, given that a lot of our physical and emotional freedom, freedoms have been curtailed. So how do we manage these emotions? Well, firstly, we need to realize that it's not us that is feeling overwhelmed and out of control. It's our inner children, our inner child. What do I mean by our inner child? I mean that energy that we carry, all of us, whatever our age, we have an inner child. It's this inner child that usually feels unsafe or fearful or unloved or rejected or abandoned. And these inner children are part of us. They're not going away. We have to manage them. We have to take care of them. If we don't realize that they're the ones that are running the show, they will run the show. <laughs> you will act as a child would. You will feel overwhelmed. You will feel like a victim. You will want to play that blame game. You won't feel like you can cope. So we need to realize that when we can't deal with a big emotion, often it's because it's our inner child that's running the show. Why are they running the show? Usually because it's an unresolved emotion in you that you haven't yet processed. It's a kind of trauma, I guess, that your child wasn't able to process because you were a child. Children don't have the psychological capacity to process things like adults do. It's just how they're built. So what happens to those big emotions? Those big emotions often just, often just get stored, which is fine. It's what needs to happen at the time. But unless we process them as adults, they will fester and get bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's my belief that eventually they turn into illness or depression or disease. So we need to release these feelings. And when our inner child feels overwhelmed, it's usually because we are matching something that is happening to us in our external reality now as adults to something traumatic that happened to us as children. And that child is reacting because it's reminding that child of how it felt at the time. So what do we do? What we can do is realize that this is what is going on. Secondly, we can parent our child. How do we do this? It's literally like parenting an ex a normal child, a child with flesh and bones, one of your children, except you're parenting your own little child. So my little child would be called little Lavinia. My adult is big Lavinia. So you would talk to the little version of you, little Lavinia in my case, and validate her feelings say to her that whatever it is that she's feeling is okay, it's welcome, it's normal, that it's completely what is expected of her because she's a child. Next step is to make her realize that whatever trauma is being brought up again by external circumstances now, and that will be the very first time that you felt these same feelings that you're feeling now, Whatever she's remembering that is triggering these feelings is not happening now. It's a past memory. And that whilst her feelings are valid because she went through that and she was a child and it was traumatic and she didn't have anyone else there to go through it with, it's different now because you are around and you are never going anywhere. You are always there for her. You are you're the same person, right? So you are always gonna be there for her. You are always gonna be someone that she can look up to and you will take care of her. And you, big version of you, is gonna deal with whatever is traumatic in the real world now. She can just go off and play. She can relax. She doesn't have to be in control, which is where these out of control feelings come from. It's your child that's feeling out of control because of course your child can't cope. She's a child. When we can get back into our adult, then those feelings of overwhelm disappear because we're adults, we know we can cope. So to kind of to recap, when we feel overwhelmed by big feelings now as adults, it's usually because our inner children have become activated. They've become triggered by something in the external world and it's reminded them of the same feeling that they felt when they were little. Whatever traumatic experience happened to you, it could be that you were bullied at school, 
so you felt out of control and powerless. It could be that a teacher was mean to you. It could be that perhaps your parents used to argue or maybe even that you one of them left and they got divorced. So any kind of experience where you felt the same feelings that you're feeling now, go back to that time, work out how old you were when that happened and speak to that part of you, which I know it sounds crazy, but that part of you is still alive. You're still carrying her, especially if there's something that, that, that was traumatic. Our development gets kind of arrested at these times of trauma. And these are the parts of us that we really need to nurture in order to move that blocked energy out, up and out of us so that it no longer gets reactivated every single time. So again, to recap, what do we do? We go back to that child, that the age that she was when this happened. We talk to her. I know it feels weird at first, but it becomes much more natural the more you do it. Talk to her, validate her feelings, help her to understand that whatever she went through was very difficult. And of course she feels out of control and angry and overwhelmed and frustrated because she was a child then. She didn't have anyone to go through it with her. But now it's different. And this is a really key part to understand that now it's different. Now it's different because you, big version of you, are here and you're not going anywhere and you are in charge. So your child doesn't need to worry. Your child just going to go off and play, color in, go on the trampoline, whatever it is that your child wants to do. Childish things. And you, big you, is in control and you have it all underhand. The more we can do this on a regular basis and really kind of flex that muscle of compassion and understanding for our child and build that relationship between the adult version of ourselves and the child version of ourselves, the less scared she is because she understands that you're always there for her. So it's a really, really key tool to use at times like this when we we objectively are out of control. Things are out of control, physically, emotionally. And the more your child feels safe with you, the less she will react, the less she will need attention, and it will just be big you that's in control. To give you an example of how powerful this can be, one of my clients had a child who uh, wasn't sleeping, hadn't slept since they were born for 14 months, I think it was, when we first started coaching. The very night that she started inner parenting her child, her child slept through the night, that very night. So instant effects. And it may not come straight away. Sometimes if you haven't had this parent uh, role model, this parenting kind of style role model to you, so one of nurture and nourishment and love, if you didn't really get that from your parents, it can feel quite awkward and clunky uh, speaking to a child in that way but all you need to remember is that the more you practice the easier it comes and that all your child needs to feel is safe and heard and understood and that someone else is taking care of her which is what your normal children your actual children want to feel isn't it so if it if it feels hard just picture your actual child what would you say to them if they were scared if they woke up with having had a nightmare if they fell over and hurt themselves you'd know what to say because you're a great mum so say the same kind of things to your inner child i hope that helps um, it's a really valuable tool to help get over overwhelm and feeling out of control if you've got any questions let me know i'd be absolutely delighted to answer them just send me a dm let me know how you're getting on with it and if you want any more tips or tools on things like that, on having to, on how to cope, how to improve your relationship dynamic, how to parent in a more calm way, how to juggle work, life, parenting, any of that kind of thing, check out my website, www.bobomama.net on the blogs or vlogs page. And I've got loads of information and tips and tools to help you through. Hope that helps. Bye.